Hello everybody and welcome back here to the channel. I'm your rabbit. We're here on a set of Corsa on Hapagera and we're going to be taking this 370Z out for a little zero handbrake drifting. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll let you the description box below. Let's get to it. So we're going to go full send here without the handbrake. We're not going to use this. We're gonna be using clutch kicks and weight transfers, like I said. So let's go full send here. Keep my hand away from the handbrake lever. Definitely something that I am trying to not utilize as much, especially with competition drifting. Trying not to use it when it's not required or needed. A little clutch kick in. We got this. So Hoppy Garrett, definitely a fun track. They drive it on beam. Beam physics are a little weird for me. I can't get the car to slide or rotate as much as I really want it to. So that's why handbrake was utilized a lot in the Beam NG video here on Hapagera. But this 370 is definitely super dialed and very nice with weight transfer. A little clutch, a little stab of the clutch there, a little clutch kicks to keep the car sideways. I think we were in the grass there, or in the, oh, oh, wall tap, save it. Right there would have been a way to utilize the handbrake to uh, get the car to rotate so I didn't wreck the car with that tail tap. And now Hoppy Gear here does not let me go any further, so I'm just going to flip back around. I'm going to cut that grass a little bit and head back on the downhill. It's going to be a little bit more difficult with speed, but it's manageable. left foot brake action going on we are running 60 brake pressure with 60 so that I can really left foot brake we keep the wheels in spin keep my wheel speed going this can be kind of a tricky turn eh, not really See, that would have been a turn that utilizing handbrake could have actually been very useful. Oh, don't lose it. Uh, apparently, we're through the wall of Hapagera. We're back at the main entrance. So, not utilizing handbrake is one thing that a lot of people think is a bad thing sometimes, but using it in moderation or when you need it to get the car to rotate like I was in BMG I couldn't get the car to rotate how I wanted it to so that's why I kind of was using the handbrake so much in that video but this just with a car that's tuned quite well you don't really need it we do this in third of course you know we gotta we gotta turn on those type S lights get the aspect of this from outside perspective Clutch kick, left foot brake. I just use the weight transfer there. The left foot brake to keep the angle. Lost grip in the front, but we're okay. Kind of did the same thing on that turn in the first person view. Kind of running this as wide as possible, too. You can almost with the way these turns flow you could almost probably do no hands on this because the car would oscillate back and forth can't see where we're going too many trees in the way the car would oscillate back and forth so you kind of could probably do this without actually using hands i've seen some people do it no hands drifting oh killing this clutch though and I could not see where I was, could not see the angle. Curse of third person in this aspect. But you know, we gotta run it in first and third for everybody. Honestly, I think I was running this track better in first person, obviously. We've been doing a lot of training for ESDA in the near future with ESDA around the corner. Gotta get a lot of practice in with the new car, which I will be revealing very shortly. Once I make sure it's fully tacked. 
Oh, that did not work. <laughs> like I said, that would have been a time to utilize handbrake. Oh. <clears throat> we show all my mess ups, including good drifts, bad drifts, everything on this channel. Nothing is, nothing's hidden from you guys. Especially when I lock up the brakes. I don't think I'm going to be able to go any further down this way. We're going to try. Oh, that didn't work. The car bumped. I, uh, clutch kicked incorrectly there. I don't like these bumps. These bumps are a little weird. But just, you know, for sake of trying to drift this course without handbrake, I know a lot of people were making the comments about using handbrake, and I do take criticism very, very well, actually. Constructive criticism. Now, I did I, do I suggest that I used handbrake a little bit too much in that video? Probably. But like I said, I could not get the car to drive how I really wanted it to. Still trying to get the beam and G physics and everything how I really want them. So this this car is a car that I know a little bit better and a lot more. See, we're gonna use it. Oh, we're gonna hit the wall. <laughs> we're gonna handbrake into that turn. We actually just went fully send into the wall into space. So we're gonna run this run utilizing handbrake in certain aspects of the course. We're gonna try to go at a much higher rate of speed and that's when handbrake does actually help when you're at a higher rate of speed to get the car obviously to kick sideways. Pop in third. See, we probably could have used a handbrake there to extend a little bit because I'm bogging the car in third gear. Just a quick grab of that just to get the car to rotate a little bit more. Much higher rate of speed, much more higher angle, obviously, in this course. See right there, wall tap. Utilize the handbrake to keep the car in angle so we don't actually crash. It's definitely a big thing right there. The car didn't want to rotate because of the weird uphill. So there's times, obviously, that I may use it a little more than I need to, but it's definitely something that I do not use much in competition unless I'm in chase. So if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more videos like this here on the channel, make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll try the description box below. And as always, like thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. See you guys on the track.